when you study, you don't take out all your books, put them out on your desk, open them all to random pages, and then just randomly start reading different sections. That's not how you prepare for your calculus test. Um, when you prepare for your calculus test, you open calculus, you look at the syllabus, you look at the list of things that are going to be in the exam, and you study each one of those things and you make sure you know them. Practice is the same way. head coach and technically the only coach for uh, the UT Archery Club at the moment. When I came to UT as a freshman, I happened to see a table out and it's at Archery Club and I said, oh cool, Archery, like most people do. And uh, I showed up and I just fell in love with the, the sport. I guess it's a continual development of the skill to be accurate. I hate to use the word perfect, but try to try to reach that level of, of perfection, even though I know it's going to be a, it's it's a hard thing to do. But um, other days, I just I just like the sport. I like just like shooting. When you wouldn't notice, like <laughs> you would always shoot low or high. There's a part of me that just really likes the teaching, the mentoring activities beyond just the skills of being a coach. There is a lot of sports psychology that's involved in, in archery like any sport. I tell them that the, the best way to shoot is one arrow at a time. You don't think about your last arrow, whether it was good or bad. You don't worry about the next arrow that's coming up. Like I had a situation last year with one of my archers who wanted everybody to say, all right, our goal is to win nationals. And I said, no, that is not your goal. Your goal is to shoot one arrow at a time and do that one arrow correctly. That moment when an archer goes to the line, as they step onto the line and put the arrow on the bow, they're thinking about the execution of the shot. Not where is it going to go, not whether it's going to go into the one or, a, you know, it's going to be a one, a ten, or, or a miss, but just the execution, the putting the arrow on the, on the bow, knocking it to the string, setting up the bow arm, the drawing hand on the string, and then going through the whole shot execution one step at a time. Having that mental game, that ability to trust yourself that you can execute the actual execution of the shot, everything that you do uh, is just you. It's your personal performance. Know what you're capable of. If you do that, the score, the, the medals, everything else comes with it. because all those things, people have a tendency to start focusing on them and goes, oh my God, I'm five points out of first place. And then they pfft, go downhill from there. That translates to being in an exam. If you're sitting there in the exam thinking more about whether you're about to flunk or whether you're half a point away from acing the exam. If that's what you're thinking about during the exam, then you're not actually doing the exam. Just like in an archery, if you're thinking about where are you in the lineup, you're not thinking about that one arrow. When you're in your exam, think about that question and only that question can help you in your studies. You answer all the questions in the exam correctly, That'll take care of getting you your 4.0. That'll take care of everything else. 
that you got to be focused on that exam right now, that question right now, not worrying about whether or not it's going to make or break your career. And so I've often, you know, when students, I'll, I'll see them shooting and I can tell that they're not, um, how should I put it, in a good mood. Um, they're, they're sad about something, they're just not shooting right. So I'll, instead of asking them, well, what, what's wrong with your shooting? I usually ask them what's wrong with what's going on. And they'll tell me they're worried about a test or something like that. And that's when I tell them, apply what you've learned in archery. Get that focus. It's that uh, mental game, that emotional stability that you need to have to become a really good athlete and to become a very good competitor. Uh, that to me makes archery no different than any other sport. A lot of the the stuff that you can learn as an athlete, you can apply it as a student and also apply it later in life. Because sometimes we have a tendency to work, worry about that possible outcome, whether that's get the gold medal or get the job, as opposed to focus on what you need to do right now to get that goal. So to me, that's one of the skills that they, they learn, hopefully that they learn and will be able to take with them.